to be seeing more blue bikes on the streets of San Francisco. KPIX 5 Susie Steinwell tells us after a rough fall rollout, another bike sharing company is hitting the road. San Francisco will now be seeing more cyclists on the road courtesy of Blue Go Go, though the company didn't receive the warm welcome startups have come to expect. We will confiscate those bikes, we will impound those bikes, we will sell those bikes. Despite pushback from the city, Blue Go Go went ahead and launched today. The company allows users to rent bikes through an app and return them wherever they want. Pictures of piled up Blue Go Go bikes in China had city leaders fearful that would happen here. So the company rented private parking lots for the time being, hoping to appease City Hall. It kind of handicaps us a little bit with regards to not being able to expand freely into neighborhoods that we would have even wanted to do it at a much faster pace. At a press conference last week, Supervisor Aaron Peskin said he's sick of startup companies asking forgiveness instead of permission. We should have done the same on Uber. We wouldn't have 45,000 of these cars clogging our streets. Blue GoGo -Go VP of U.S. Operations Ilya Movshevich met with city leaders this afternoon trying to clear up what he calls a misunderstanding. He says customers would never be allowed to leave bikes on city sidewalks here. That was never what we were planning on doing. One potential hiccup, Bay Area Bike Share has an exclusive 10-year contract with the city as the only bike share in San Francisco. Ilya says that didn't come up at today's meeting and he hopes it doesn't put the company at risk of being shut down. It's possible. It's definitely possible. We hope it doesn't happen. In San Francisco, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.